Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm going to be looking at a brand new TV sports app for your Android device or your Fire Stick TV. Now I was pleasantly surprised at how many sports this app actually covers, including your old regular sports like golf, snooker, rugby, American football, soccer, and we also get a selection of more newer and hipper sports, including surfing, rock climbing, FPV racing, and that's all great by me, the more the merrier. Now this app comes with a great interface and it works very smoothly with your remote control. It also comes with an easy to navigate EPG electronic program guide. Now with this app you don't need to log in or even create an account. And of course you don't need any location spoofing software if you're based in the UK. Now they are currently in the process of rolling out to loads more countries. So definitely keep an eye out if it's not in your region at the moment. Now if it's not currently available in your region I will be showing you how to get it. But you'll probably need some location spoofing software to use it. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, so as soon as you start up the app, you're straight into the action and the first channel pops up. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of on-screen navigation available, but if you press the back button, it all disappears. Pressing the select button will make it appear again. And from here, you can see what you're currently watching on this channel, which also includes the start and end time. Now you also get a brief description of what's coming up next on this channel. Now one of the cool features of this app is you can actually browse the EPG which is the electronic program guide while you're watching the current program and all in full screen. And the great thing here is each little program window has got a little bar under it which tells you how far along it is in its program schedule. And this is live information so the bar will progress as time goes on. Now if you do find the background picture distracting you can click on the more box and it will take away that background picture leaving you with a clearer and less distracting program guide. And of course you can go to any one of these programs from here by just clicking on the thumbnail and it will go to that live channel. So that's the first row on the home screen and that is what's on now. Now below that we have the popular category and this contains channels which are currently popular. In other words channels with the most views at this current time. So the channels on this row will change throughout the day depending on what's popular at that time of day. Now if you select a program from the live EPG you'll get the following screen and here you can see you get some information about the program including the start time and end time and you get the progress bar showing you how much of the program has already been shown and a brief description about the channel and what it shows and you can just simply click and watch. And as you can see guys as soon as you clicked on the thumbnail the program comes up fairly quickly and this is partly due to the fact that this is an official app and it's been developed with the backing of some major companies. And most if not all these channels are in HD and personally as of using this app I haven't seen any adverts so that is nice to know that you're not going to get any interruptions while you're viewing even though I would have expected one or two ads here and there as it is a free app with some great channels and content. Now guys if you are enjoying this video please do give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I do weekly videos on streaming, media, tech and unboxings and just by liking and subscribing to the channel you'll keep me motivated to keep going producing the content I know you like to watch. Now back to the app. Okay if we click on select and go back to the main categories we can see that below popular we've got the recently added category and as the name suggests these are programs that have been recently added to the various channels. And I find personally this is one of the most regular categories I look at as it lets me know if there's any new episodes of programs I'm interested in. There's nothing worse than going through an app looking for new episodes of a program only to find you have to wait a few more days. So this recently added category saves me from getting that empty feeling when I'm not getting my new episode fix. Now to get a clearer view of what's on now you can go to the top menu on the home page and click on on now. And as you can see it's become a lot clearer now as the whole screen is dedicated to what's on now. So taking a quick glance at these channels you can see we've got basketball, billiards, lacrosse, poker night, horse racing, motorsports, combat. You have to agree it's quite a comprehensive listing of sports and this is just a snapshot at this time. Okay now if we go back to the top menu and next to on now we've got the TV guide. Now this is where of course you're going to get a proper listing of what's on on each channel. So the channels are listed down the page and the times are listed across the page and the program details in between. Now taking a quick look at the channels available, we've got Allied Esports, ING TV, Hard Knocks, MMA TV, Channel Fight, Motorsports 1, MAV TV Motorsports, RPM Motorsports TV, Bolt TV, Chopper Town and NHRA and Sports Grid. So as you can see guys, quite a wide selection of channels, something for everyone. Now moving across the EPG will take you across all the times, including some days. And I actually think you can get a whole week's worth of program guide 
which is pretty impressive because you're actually getting a description of the program contents as well. Now to get back to the current listing, just click on the now live button and it'll jump you back. Now another cool feature of the EPG is if you click on the today button, you'll get the following screen where you can jump between days in the week and easily view the program guide for that day. Okay, so moving along the top menu, next to TV guide, we've got the settings cog. And from here we can subscribe for updates with an email. We can get help and support. And this is the one you should definitely check, managing preferences. Just make sure you're opted out of all these options as you don't want anyone snooping in on you. So just scroll down and make sure they're all ticked off. It's a good idea to do this when you install the app. And just finally confirm your choices. And the last two on the list here are privacy policy and terms and conditions. Okay, so getting this app couldn't be easier on the Amazon Fire Stick, and it's a very similar process on any Android device. Just go to the respective app store. And on the Fire Stick, I'm just going to do a search. And what you're looking for is an app called Sports Tribal. And it should just pop up by just typing in Sports T. And just a reminder, this is a totally free app which anybody can download. Now they are in the process of rolling out to other regions, so if it's not available in your region at the moment, it will be there soon. But just in case you want it now, I've left a download link in the description below. But just a reminder, you may need some location spoofing software to use it. So just click on the download and it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to download and install. And once you see the play button, just click on it. And that's it guys, you're ready to watch all the sports you want. Now the first screen you'll see is the privacy settings screen. Now from here, click on manage preferences and scroll down to performance cookies and make sure you untick the consent box. And again, do the same for personalized advertising. Then scroll down to content personalization and untick the box here as well. And under develop and improve products, do the same. This will ensure we get no spying on what we watch. And it's more of the same for use precise geolocation data. Just untick that box. And I promise guys, this is the last one. Under actively scan device characteristics for identification, untick it. And finally guys, scroll all the way down to confirm my choices and select. And you're now ready to watch sports without fearing of being spied on. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, wow, what's all this tech jargon? I just want to watch movies and TV shows. I don't want to be messing around with my Android TV and installing apps and then inputting codes. Or some users might not even be that technically minded or bothered. All they want is the simple life. And for those type of users, there's a solution. And these are basically Android boxes sold as a full solution. You pay a one-off price for a lifetime of movies and TV shows. Now, I've done a video review of one of these boxes and I'll link it in the top left-hand corner now. And shortly, I'll have another video coming up about another one of these boxes by a different manufacturer. So to catch these videos and more, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.